15 Live, powered by Verizon on StarWars.com. Join now in the cantina by the legend, the man himself, Peter Mayhew. Thank you so much for stopping by. I thank you very much for inviting me. I needed a drink anyway, so I <laughs> came to the right place. I got to tell you, I've, I've been walking around in this cantina for two days now, and I'm still not used to it. We walk from that side around the other side into here. Yep. And this is where the altercation came with Greedo. Yeah. And both. You've got a blaster burn right in your back yep. there. There's a blaster <laughs> burn there. Uh, but fortunately, Chewie was uh, not there when the actual shooting mm -hmm. took place. Right. He was preparing the Falcon. Now, I've got to ask you. You know, you came in uh, yesterday. You yeah. were in the panel. You were there for the reveal. Yes. Um, now that people have finally seen the first glimpse of you as Chewbacca again... Mm -hmm in The Force Awakens. Like, how did it feel showing that off to the world? Look, I have bumps. Dude, I, had, I do the same thing I every time I talk about that trailer. I have, <laughs> I have goosebumps. I, bl I was blown away. Yes, I'd seen it the night before on a little screen, but to watch it on the big screen. Yeah. And when you think the amount of people that you had there, everybody was on their feet. And no, there wasn't a dry, heart, dry eye in the place. Yeah. I've talked to people all this morning and last night, and they go, that's a cool show. That's <laughs> a cool e event. And one, one guy even went out and got drunk because <laughs> he enjoyed it so much. I have, I mean... I would love to show you after we're done. I have so many videos of my friends tearing up. Yep. So many of my videos getting choked up. Yeah. So many friends yeah. getting choked up by this trailer. We were all here as we watched it, yeah. feeling the same way. Was there a, was there any, was there any nervousness before what? it happened? Just like, did you, did you know how people would react? Were you worried we, at all? We had a good idea. Those people that were involved in the original mm -hmm. series. That and when JJ came out and said, "I'm going to do this the old-fashioned way," yeah, that meant going backwards, doing all the good, all the stuff the proper way. Yeah, not digital or anything like that. Using the old equipment, those that were involved in it said, "It's going to be good." Yeah, and thank God for JJ. And everybody that worked on the crew, it has turned. I, I'm not going to say any more. Yeah. But just go watch it. I got to tell you, one thing that a lot of people have been uh, commenting on is uh, Chewie's looking good. Chewie's looking good for 30 years going by. What does well, he use? A lot of conditioner, brushing yep. brushing a hundred times on yep. each side. <laughs> air, uh, <laughs> combs, brushes, air con uh, hair conditioner. It's all there. <laughs> And the snow helps. <laughs> when we're on half, he gets that lovely shine yeah. on his on his coat. A little so. raw egg in yeah, his breakfast yeah, in the morning yeah. for his coat. Yep. yep. <laughs> so I got to ask, you know, you're talking about doing things the old way and, and kind of going back to it. I'm sure that um, I'm sure that brought up a lot of memories for you as you were filming again. Oh, yeah. Um, do you have a story? And I'm sure they change all the time over 30 years. But right now, if you could think of a story that's kind of your favorite of the making of the original movies. Um, yeah, it would be the chess game on the on the on the Falcon. Oh yeah, with three PO, R two, and Chewie. We're there. We've got a chessboard, a checkers board laid out. Right. And we're uh, rehearsing because Harrison's over the back there. Alec and Mark are playing bat and ball with the lasers. Right. And we're about to shoot. We've got three or four cameras there. Nothing, nothing big. <laughs> <laughs> and just, just like a few cameras yeah, on no, a full starship yeah, set. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm wearing a Wookiee costume. Yeah. It's not a big deal. <laughs> so I'm sitting there. <laughs> and we st the AD comes up. Right, we go in in a minute. So I lean over to him and said, look, there's nothing on the board. Right. 
He said, oh, don't worry about that. Just do, just act and we'll put it in later. And that's what happened. Yeah. They put all the chess pieces in, in special effects. And was that the first time? Because obviously that throughout the, the trilogy... That was the first time I uh, was aware of the trilogy being a success. That's so amazing. It's amazing. That's it really so great. is. Oh, I wanted to know, if, was there a... You know, talking about that, that moment with the chessboard and kind of knowing that it was going to be a success there, was, that, was, was there another moment where you, where you kind of jumped on and you were like, not only is this going to be a success, this is going to be special. This is going to last. I think it was after... Uh, when we were half, probably halfway through Empire mm -hmm. and you get the investment and stuff and you also get critics yeah. that see rushes and if they, if they don't like it, it's going to be a success. <laughs> so, um, no, it, it varied. Yeah. You, know, you can't say... Oh, that movie is going to be a success. It's a period of time yeah. that the English fans or the American fans have their own way of think of doing things. Yeah. You talk to anybody here from over the pond or someone that's here, they've got the different ideas and they know what they want. But usually they want something that they haven't seen before and yet is still up to a standard that the original uh, Star Wars movies were. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, absolutely. it's there. Um, now, your voice is not the voice we hear in the films. No. But you are making noises on set. Yes. Can you, can you, can you tell us the, the unfiltered? Can we get some unfiltered Chewy? Mm. <laughs> or various things. Luckily, I know the guy that is going to edit this lot out, uh -huh. so we can have some. We normally have some fun. Yeah. Because you're you're having to react to Carrie, Mark, and Harrison <laughs> in a small space like this. So you've got to know what is what you're playing with and what your reactions is going to be. Yeah. So it all depends. You know, if I if I've been out to lunch and had a few martinis, it Chewy gets a different voice uh, is if to when I to uh, when I've had a straight lunch. Gotcha. So, you know, <laughs> it varies. That's awesome. Um, you know, I gotta I gotta say you've been you've been attending these these shows for years. You have been part of this since the beginning. Is there a feeling to this year to this show? That's different. Yes. You have far more fans, not only in this country, not only in Europe. You come and look at the places where we the, uh, at our tables. We get badges from all over the world. Yeah. We've had them from China. We've had them, you name it, it's there. And they are all the garrisons yes. of the of the, the, the five hundred and first. Five hundred and first. Yeah. And that is what is the essential thing for this. So what more can I say? Absolutely. Well gosh, thank you so much for dropping by the cantina. Peter Mayhew, it's been a wonderful, wonderful time. Thank you, sir. Thank you, indeed. And remember, we have more here all weekend from the cantina, live from Star Wars Celebration 2015, powered by Verizon on StarWars.com.